guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be chatting about six drugstore moisturizers that I've really been loving lately. I've got a couple of brand new exciting ones and then a couple of classics that I've only tried more recently. I have a ton of videos on moisturizers for oily skin, acne prone skin. They will all be linked down below. Today I'm going to be chatting about a little bit of something for everybody, no matter your skin type, and of course from the drugstore. So they're going to be more affordable and available options that you can easily get your hands on. I've got an option with SPF, I've got fragrance free options options cruelty free a little bit of something for everybody so be sure to subscribe if you enjoy this style of video I also have a tutorial for this look which I will link down below but let's go ahead and get started up first you know I love a gel cream and this is a new one from Burt's Bees they actually have a gel cream out that I've never tried I spotted it at shoppers a little while back but anyways they've got a new one out now from the truly glowing collection which I really really like this is the truly glowing gel cream it's got a great texture I would say that it is a pretty good 50-50 split of feeling like uh, maybe a little bit more cream than gel uh, if I'm comparing it to like a Neutrogena Hydro Boost, but by no means is this heavy or gonna sit on the skin in a weird way. They've got a couple of different options in this line. They've also got a day cream and two night creams, I believe it is, depending on your skin type. This claims to help hydrate your skin and replenish it. They also do responsibly sourced ingredients, which I think is really, really cool from Burt's Bees. And the packaging is really adorable, I'm not gonna lie. I love the honeycomb packaging on the bottom. It's absolutely reusable in a glass jar and has a really great texture. It's not fragrance free or oil free, but I don't find the scent to be heavy and it's definitely it's definitely not oily either, so don't be scared of that. I really, really think that this is a great moisturizer for those of you who have like normal to oily skin. On to something new from Garnier. I'm really excited about this. I mentioned this in my March favorites. I was like, April, March? What month is it? Uh, this is the Garnier Green Labs Pore Perfecting Serum Cream, the Niacinabe. There's three different formulas from this collection. So there's the Niacinabe, which has niacinamide and hemp seed oil for more oily, acne prone skin if you have larger pores. They've got Pinacea, which has pineapple and vitamin C, and then Hyalumelin, which has hyaluronic acid and watermelon. The names kind of tell you what's going on, but it took me a minute to get there. I really like this one. This one I'm pointing out specifically because it has, um, because it is fragrance free. If you have any sensitivities in your skin, the other two are not fragrance free, but they don't have any, like they don't smell like pineapple and watermelon. If that's, if that's your fear. Uh, the thing that I think is super exciting about this is it's kind of like a good three in one. So it's giving you your serum, your moisturizer and your SPF. And there's an SPF of 30 in here, which you don't see often in combination with moisturizers at the drugstore at least. And the best thing for me is that it does not turn me purple or gray. I don't get a white cast. It's not going to be the same texture as something that is like a gel cream because you're getting a decent amount of SPF in there. It's got some SPF-ness to the texture, but it's not heavy and it doesn't sit on the skin heavy or feel greasy by any means. I would say all three of them have the same texture, uh, although this one is meant to help with mattifying the skin as well. It's not matte or like it's not um, going to make your skin feel dry or anything like that. So I think that these are really, really fun and exciting to see from the drugstore, especially to get a nice SPF of 30 in there. So if you haven't spotted these out yet, um, keep your eyes peeled. And they also came out with some cleansers in this collection, but I haven't tried it yet. Now this one is pretty much brand new to me, but I am so impressed with it that I want to mention it. I don't even really have that much information about it because they just sent it to me and I threw out the little card and it's not on their website yet, but it will be on the website by the time this video comes out. But I wanted to mention it because I think it's fabulous. It's from Indeed Labs. It's their Inceramide Daily Moisture Cream. Now I'm a huge fan of their Inceramide is it a night mask, I believe, or an overnight mask from them? I talked about it in a recent video where I was discussing my favorite treatments. So I'll link that down below. So impressed with this. So this has, I can only find it on the Pop Sugar website right now, uh, formulated with three different types of ceramides to help uh, strengthen your skin's barrier. And I gotta say, like, this feels so good. I put it on damp skin. I feel like my skin responds really, really well to ceramides. I will be talking about another very classic ceramide product in a moment. You probably know what I'm getting at. But I think that this is so good. Indeed Labs is a Canadian brand, which I love to see. They're available here in Canada at Shoppers Drug Mart. In the US, you can find them at Ulta. And in the UK, you can find them at Boots. So readily available. They're cruelty-free as well. I'm not sure if this is fragrance-free. I can't see here on the packaging. But generally, Generally, their products are fragrance free, free of like a whole bunch of stuff. Great if you have sensitive skin. And I think that this is such a 
like heavy duty moisturizer without a heavy feel like I feel like my skin feels so smooth so soft so supple after using it as if I had used a really heavy rich dense product but it's not the case so if you have super oily skin you may just want to use this at night you could use it during the day I know it seems backwards to moisturize oily skin but I promise you it's what you gotta do okay you gotta hydrate your skin no matter your skin type it may not be a hundred percent what you want to use during the day it depends on kind of your uh, threshold for texture it's not heavy or greasy by any means but normal to any other skin type even combo you could use this day or night really really good I know I'm raving about it and I just got it but it really impressed me moving on to another exciting collection from Olay you know I'm a huge fan of their moisturizers and I have been partnered with them for some time but they don't know I'm doing this I also partnered with Garnier like and CeraVe like none of these people know I'm doing it <laughs> I only talk about things I like so they may show up in a couple of different places but this is the Olay Regenerous Collagen Peptide 24 collection it's a mouthful but a great moisturizer uh, this is a fragrance free collection as well I believe Olay is moving towards making all of their products fragrance free most of the things that I've worked on has been this has a collagen peptide in there so you see collagen in food in powders in moisturizers the difference that they're talking about for this moisturizer is that it's formulated with collagen peptides not collagen so that means if we're going to get really sciencey about it according to them <laughs> that the molecule is smaller so it's actually able to penetrate deeper into the skin as opposed to something that's just collagen that can't actually like a topical collagen doesn't really do anything but a peptide will be able to do something more the reason that I like this it's formulated to help give you firm, firmer skin over two weeks but why I really like this too it's just a great moisturizer and I use a lot of active ingredients whether it is salicylic acid glycolic whatever it may be this is just such a good do-it-all moisturizer that you could pair with anything else in your skincare routine you're not going to need to worry about you know balancing chemicals or anything like that chemical exfoliation or whatever it may be you could use it day or night it's got a great texture it's a cream um, but it definitely is not too rich to the point where it's going to sit on your skin I think any skin type could use it uh, especially if you have sensitivities it feels really really good and hydrating they've got an eye cream and a serum from this line as well and a cleanser but I really really like it it's a great kind of do it all now back to the topic of ceramides, of course, CeraVe, they're like, you know, what we think of when we think of ceramides, at least me. Um, this is the uh, moisturizing cream for normal to dry skin. This is the like little packaging that it comes in. I've got a big tub over there as well. I've mentioned this before, but this is the only product that I can confidently use on my face and my body. And I like even in starting that it felt very bizarre but truly I love it on both my face and my body this works best if you have a little bit of damp like if, you have, if your skin is a little bit damp Whew. it's good it's a really great hydrating product it has the ceramides in there it's got your hyaluronic acid that's why it's such a great option to put over um, a damp skin because that's gonna help lock in the moisture the moisture because hyaluronic acid is only it's not that it's only effective but it's most effective on damp skin and you will really see a difference and it's such an easy thing to do because you're kind of already washing your face you just sort of pat it so that it's not completely dry when you put your moisturizer on but it has the ceramides it's got hyaluronic acid in here and it is also um, a great fragrance free option if you have a more sensitive skin type in comparing it to the indeed labs i would say I would say the CeraVe is not as rich in texture but the indeed labs is not a rich texture if that makes sense it's just a little bit richer and, and, and thicker but both really really great options this one is probably going to be a little bit more readily available than the indeed labs but I really like this a great option great kind of basic simple moisturizer but not in a bad way in a great way basic and simple in a good way I promise another ingredient that I've been looking for in my skincare lately is Sika I was first introduced to it I think by Innisfree or Laneige one of the Korean skincare brands and um, Laneige has a great Sika overnight mask that I love that I know I didn't give away but I cannot find anywhere anyways from La Roche Posay they're a drugstore brand they're kind of a derm brand so it's not going to be maybe as affordable as the other options but it goes on sale and it's not um, it's not that much above the kind of more regular drugstore brands but this is the Cicaplast Balm 5 this I definitely recommend if you have any kind of like um, rosacea or eczema although I'm not a doctor I'm just saying it seems like it would be good for it um, I've been using it for some really really intense dry skin so definitely not something that I would recommend to my oily or acne prone friends unless uh, you are having some kind of something that you almost wanted to spot treat 
but it really depends on what you're looking for. It is very, very thick, but very, very effective. Sika is very soothing to the skin and it's done just a great job. I'm almost done it actually. It is very thick. So I would recommend if you're using this, do your skincare. I mean, my evening skincare happens earlier and earlier. It used to be like 9 p.m. Now it's like 5 p.m and I'm ready to, to do the thing. So uh, I really, really like this. It's got, what else does it have in here besides the Sika? Uh, it's paraben-free, fragrance-free, hypoallergenic as well. Helps to reduce redness too. And again, I like this over, I'll generally put a serum over this, or sorry, under this, and then put this on top, just also to help get it moving so you don't need to put too much on your face because the first couple times I used it, I put too much on because it's so thick. But again, it doesn't sit heavy on the skin. Just give it a little bit of time to absorb before your head hits the pillow. So those are my current favorite drugstore moisturizers. I will have a whole playlist linked down below for skincare from the drugstore, no matter what you're looking for, whether it's masks, toners, moisturizers, SPFs. I think I've done just about everything. So that will all be linked down below. Let me know what you're loving from the drugstore lately. And as always, if you'd like to connect with me, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at SamanthaJaneYT, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.